In this video, I'm giving you three ways to make money with your music without streaming services. What's up guys, Brandon here from KDMR Music, the channel making you a more successful musician. Now we do this every week through videos about music marketing and strategy. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button. We do this all the time. Now, today we're talking about how to make money without relying on streaming services. And this is really important because it seems like every other week there is a new movement of artists who are like trying to take a mass exodus from Spotify and the other streaming services. And whether you're a part of those groups or not, there are definitely some glaring issues that really need to be addressed when it comes to the streaming services and particularly Spotify, right? Really streaming services are overcrowded, right? There's anyone with an internet connection can upload their music to a streaming service at any time. So the chances of you just being discovered just because your music's on Spotify, pretty slim pretty slim. Now, not only are these services overcrowded, but they're dominated by the major label artists. And rightfully so. I mean, major labels do own a stake in the ownership of Spotify. So yeah, there's that. Now, how are you going to compete with Drake and Adele and Beyonce? You're not. You're not. And beyond that, right, even if you were able to make it through and get a bunch of streams, the payout rates are super pitiful. So because of all that, unless you're just dominating the streaming market, well, you can't really expect to build a sustainable income based on streaming. And so we need to talk about ways that you can make money without relying on Spotify and Apple Music and all those other things. Now, before we get into this list, I have to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Koji. If you haven't heard, Koji is a brand new link in bio tool that really takes it to the next level. Instead of just having a simple list of links, uh, Koji allows you to monetize your fan base while engaging them and creating really exclusive experiences for them all without them ever leaving your social media profiles. Now, you can even see on my profile, it's on the screen right now, you can you know, use it as a simple list of links. You can go to my website, you can visit our blog, but you can also purchase the Music Marketing Guidebook, which is the ebook I wrote a few years ago giving you marketing information. You can purchase that from right on my Instagram bio. How cool is that? And so you can create an experience like that by going to withkoji.com. We'll talk a little bit more about them later, but I had to give a huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get into the first method that you can use to make money with your music without Spotify, right? And that first method is merchandise. Now, all of these things we're going to talk about are going to require you to build a dedicated fan base and engaged fan base using the methods that I teach on this channel. But assuming you've got that right, selling merchandise is a no brainer. I'm talking about T-shirts, hats, mugs, scarves, bandanas, all of these different things where your fans can buy a physical item that represents you. Right. You ever seen somebody walking around with a Rolling Stones T-shirt and you just see the lips and the tongue? And you're like, yo, what is that? Uh, it's the Rolling Stones. Right. And when other Rolling Stones fans see that logo in the wild, they're like, it's like friggin' radar. It's like, Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh, snap, it's a magnet. I just met another Stones fan. Well, your fans are looking for experiences like that. Your fans, believe it or not, want to be able to tell other people all about you and having merchandise up for sale is a super easy way to do that so we're talking about like you know run-of-the-mill items like t-shirts and hats all the way up to super rare and exclusive items like action figures uh, eminem once sold the bricks to his childhood home right conversation pieces that people would be proud to own and display and the more dedicated your fan base is the more they would be likely to spend on these exclusive items from you. Uh, so selling physical items, selling physical merchandise items is absolutely a game changer and something that you need to be doing. It's a no brainer, right? If you're playing a show, a live show, and you don't have your merch table set up in the back, 
you're already losing. So don't miss out on revenue. And more importantly, don't miss out on the chance to have your audience go out and spread the word about you by not offering merchandise. Now, engaged fans, they're going to want to buy merchandise and buy physical products from you. But also, they're going to want something even deeper. They're going to want stuff they can't get anywhere else. They're going to want stuff that isn't just on Spotify or just on Apple Music, right? And so what you can do for those people is to create and sell exclusive digital products, right? PDF ebooks, uh, behind the scenes lyric videos, and all sorts of different things. We live in a digital world. And so if I can go straight to you, right? I can go to your Instagram bio, click the link and pay a little bit of money. And now I have something that only real fans can refer to. I'm going to do that all day. You definitely don't have to worry about minting an NFT and like hiring, you know, some super tech wizard person in order to create these digital experiences. Hey, I mean, you can play on that market if you want to, but that value, we don't even have time to talk about NFTs, right? But it's true that fans do want exclusivity and the more engaged your fans are, the more they're going to want opportunities to buy things from you that they can't get anywhere else. And where digital products are really awesome that the physical products really can't hold a hand to or a candle to is the fact that they're digital. So if I create an ebook, yeah, it's going to take me some time to compile the pictures and design it and make it pretty, right? But there's no cost of goods sold. No matter how many copies I sell, my cost doesn't go up. So you can see some real profit as your fan base grows and they start buying these digital files that you've got up for sale. And on top of all that, Koji makes it super easy to deliver those files, like I said, from right in your social media bio. Uh, so as a matter of fact, let me show you how you would set that up super quick. All right, so here we are on my Koji profile um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click manage, go to apps and links, and I can actually browse the app store and show you guys all these new apps right now. I've showed you how to go ahead and create your Koji profile in another video. I'll link up top, but let's go ahead and go to the uh, selling digital files, right? So sell downloadable files, you can do it in a zip or you can sell eBooks and PDF. So it just depends on which thing that you're actually selling. Um, let's just go ahead and go to sell downloadable files. Let's add that and boom, I can go ahead and upload an image. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna use, uh, let's see, this is uh, just a podcast image, right? Let's see, Indie Pack. Right, set a price. I want to sell it for nine ninety nine, and then I would just upload a zip file right here. How dope is that? Super easy to set up. Like, and all of a sudden, it's live on your page, and you can sell it right now. So. That's how easy it is to set up. Let's go back to the video so I can tell you all the other ways you can monetize without using Spotify. I told you it was super quick. Now let's get into the third way that you can make money with your music without using Spotify, right? Now, again, this is going to require you to have an engaged fan base, but some fans are gonna wanna buy physical merchandise. Other fans are gonna want exclusive digital files, but an even deeper level of engagement can be reached through exclusive videos, right? I mean like custom videos, right? Now, inside of Koji, you can use the shout out mini app. And what basically happens is your fan will record a video explaining you know what their special request of you is and you can respond to it you can record a custom response and your fan can actually record themselves viewing your response and they can share it out with their friends right and so you've seen this in other applications you've seen other people use similar uh technology but what can happen is let's say my little sister's got her 16th birthday coming up and i'm like hey you know j cole can you wish my sister a happy birthday and j cole's got his phone he's like yo what's up little sister hope you're doing well thanks for rocking with the music 
happy birthday, right? Now, when my little sister sees that video, she is going to freak. She's going to share it all over social media. And then all of a sudden, all of her friends are going to be trying to request the same type of thing from J. Cole. And you don't have to be J. Cole to get this kind of treatment. I've told you guys in several videos that your fans think you are just as special as anyone else. If they didn't, they wouldn't be your fans. So what's great about the shout out app inside of Koji is that you can actually set a custom price so that before people make a request, they pay you and you get that money. Let's say you're getting $100 per video and you make 10 videos a week. There's your annual salary right there before you ever sold a single song. So it's super important to build an engaged fan base and to think about the ways that you can monetize them outside of sending them to streaming platforms and other places to get your music, right? Music is everywhere, but you are not. So think about all the ways that you can be exclusive to your audience and give your audience something that they can't get anywhere else. And like I said, this video has been brought to you by Koji and Koji makes it super easy to do all the things. They've got a sell physical products app. They've got a sell digital products app or sell digital files app. I mean, this is clearly the best link in bio tool for musicians. I mean, there are so many apps tailored specifically to musicians. Uh, there's the locked audio where you can actually sell exclusive songs right from your social media profile. The Music Links app, where you can use one link to send your audience to Spotify, Apple Music, and more. And of course, there are your classic Spotify and Apple Music embeds. So you can really create an experience that's one of a kind for your audience and unique to you as a musician. And that's something a lot of these other Link and Bio platforms just don't offer. So you can do all this, you can have all this set up in just a few minutes on your computer and your fans can access it from right there on your on their phones from your social media profile without ever skipping a beat. So I gotta give a huge shout out to Koji for sponsoring this video and for making all these tools available to independent artists. And if you are interested in setting up a Koji profile, the best part is it's free to use. All you gotta do is set it up. Go to withkoji.com and learn about more. You can even click my Koji profile below in the description. But that's going to do it for me. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you got a question you want answered about the music industry, music marketing, or business in general, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to answer it in a future video. Until then, be safe, be well, keep dreaming, and work hard to make those music business dreams your reality. Peace.